When I turn my flashlight on and that beam projects, what we need to recognize is light is noise. So you can be all quiet and stealthy and you can get from point A to point B without anybody really knowing you're there and then you turn your light on and what happens is light is noise. We can see that for miles, right? It's like headlights coming down the road. This light beam projects from me to Tracy. The two things that are known in this is where the light starts and where it ends. Now here's the dirty light concept. As somebody using this light, I only know what is in the beam because outside of the beam is what? Darkness. Anybody here while they're growing up play with the cops a little bit? The patrolman shows up and he's got his spotlight, right? And he's working that spotlight. And all you're doing is trying to stay out of that spotlight beam. So you're running around the edges, the fringe of that light. That's the dirty light area. The problem with that in a tactical environment, that dirty light gives that third person whole view set of what is going on. They see where the light emits from, they see where it goes, and they know it all. They can maximize themselves entirely in that space while staying on the fringe. When I put that light out there, I can only see what it's showing me. But that third person, the person maximizing that dirty light, gets to see both and gets to maximize everything in that space. So be very careful with that. Here's the deal. Don't get in a flashlight war when you're in a gunfight. One of the things that we see is we'll put our front sight on our target and then we'll, our flashlight will be over here, right on the left. It's like, shit, my flashlight's not on the target. So we go like this, put our flashlight on the target. Then my front sight's up here by the trees. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> so we come back here like this. And you get into this dueling banjos between the flashlight beam and the front side on the target. What's more important between the two? Well, if we're shooting, it's our front side on our threat. But we also need our light to be able to verify that, yes, we've already made the decision to go to guns. We're putting our light on to validate that decision. Does that make sense? Just recognize that you will find yourselves tonight doing that. Your front sight will have been on the target, and six seconds later, you're still fucking around with your light over here when you could have taken the shot. So in hands together techniques, we have flat of the back. Jason, can you come up here and please illuminate my hands? I thought my hands would glow by themselves. So back to back. The other one is together. You can go together here. Okay, hand together, hand together. You can also do like a cigar method where you're using your palm to turn the light on. Pressure from your palm to get the light turned on or from your finger as your hands come together, or you can turn it on, put it right between your fingers, and basically do a VAT method, which is the one that we made the rings for. Hands apart techniques are most simply the neck index technique. Basically takes your flashlight, enslaves it to your head, much like a gunner's turret on a helo, okay? So everywhere your head goes, your light goes, you can draw your gun out, and then lift your light up and be able to see what's going on. I like that one. It's pretty good because that's also a retention technique where I can strike with. If I have to hit you with my pistol and I'm going to follow it up with another strike. So we have a neck index technique and then a modified FBI technique. Years ago, the FBI came up with the idea that when they draw their pistol out, they're going to put their flashlight all the way out here to the side because people tend to shoot at the muzzle flash. That's what they said. So... What they wanted was to, and they also thought people would shoot at the flashlight. So if your flashlight's right in front of your body and people are shooting at that, then you're going to get shot. Most shooters are right-handed or left-handed? Right. Right-handed. And most people slap the trigger. Where does that round go on a right-handed shooter when you slap the trigger? Low left. Low left. So if you're shooting at this light, Wade, that round would go where? Probably, Probably into my body. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's like a, like a lose-lose. Not only do I not get to use my light very well, now I just got fucked. Uh, by getting shot by a guy that doesn't even know what he's doing. So there's a, there's a new way called a modified FBI that is the same principle, which is get the light away from your body, but move it around a bit. Maybe bring it into a neck index, maybe bring it up high, bring it down low. You know, just utilize it so the light is constantly moving. Does that make sense? Where does your light go when you need to reload? 
And your mouth is not an answer that's acceptable. Or that one, Tracy. Stop it. It's a family show. Well, first of all, yeah, you want to turn it off because we're not opening a movie premiere. Right? So we don't need to do this. Okay, come to me. Basically treat your light like we do when we're doing a reload. And you have that magazine in your hand. My gun is here and my light is out. Bang, 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 bang. Now I need to do a reload. I'm just going to palm this light or leave it between my fingers as if it's a magazine. Mag comes out, new mag goes in, light's still in my hand, and I'm ready to work it. There are schools of thought that we want to stow this light maybe up underneath our armpit. Uh, you want to stick it in a pocket or a jacket or stick it in the crook of your neck. And, uh, th those are options, but they're not effective options and they're not efficient options when we're already still fighting. So just roll that thing either between your fingers or hold it, index it like we do a magazine. Switch out your new mag, let the old mag go, and maintain control of your light. Does that make sense? Let's not make more of this than it needs to be. Motherfucker's got the sun. Time to leave. <laughs> <laughs>